It's happening, it's happening. I'm getting this. Wait for me. Oh, God. Did I get it? Oh, look at this. Okay, this is the kind of shot where... Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Why is my back screen not working? Train, train coming, train coming. Now we need a human. Please, just one person here in the corner. One, two, three. Oh no! Are you saying I only have one shot left? Ah! This triangle, someone over there, and maybe it can still happen. Let's see, three, two. Good morning everyone, hope you're having a beautiful day and that you're ready. Today we've got a little challenge. Look, this is my 0.95 50mm lens and I just arrived in Japan. We're gonna do a film photography challenge on the A1. What does that mean? Well, I crossed the Pacific many time zones and woke up completely jet lagged. Well, I thought I wanted a little bit of a chill session around sunrise. A lot of things happen here in Tokyo in the morning. It's completely different than the daytime, like the ambience, everything. I wanted to document that, but I didn't want to be going through hundreds of photos or like overthinking it with the digital world. So I thought I'm going to put my manual lens, the 50mm 0.95. I'm going to allow myself only 36 photos. You heard me, 36 photos, and we're going to go take them together. So if you're ready, let's go and let's see what we can do. What better shot to start with, with someone who wakes up for sunrise and looks at his dogs and is looking at... Ooh, it's completely blurry. Okay, so the trick with this lens, so that's shot number one, by the way. So the trick with this lens is that when you shoot at 0.95, it's really, really soft. So you kind of have to go to 1.1 and then it starts to look a little better. Uh, or even one point. I don't know, even know what the first click is, maybe 1.0, but 1.1 definitely looks better than 0.95. But honestly, look, there's a look here. I think the focus went slightly before, but not even. So, hey, still interesting, you know. I'd keep it, I'd keep it. I, I like the movement and the fact that the guy looked at me. So I'm in this really cute area. We've got the tower over there. So what we'll try to do, Maybe I'll try to get some context here, you know, like try a little bit, see if we can find some uh, movement around. Wow, that truck was so cool. And I missed doing those like little POV sessions. I have, I feel like I haven't done one in, in a long time. Ah, shoot. I started too early, but you know what? It's a film photo, can't take it again. I mean, I can take it again, but I don't think it's gonna do much. It's not the shot. So, shot number two. This is fun, and by the way, if you're ever confused, you can do that with any of your cameras. You're like, look, I have 36 frames. I took two right now, I only had 34 left, right? Nothing prevents you from doing that. I know it's less sexy than being I'm using a film thing, etc. but it, it can be just as cool. Oh, that's a cemetery. There is some interesting uh, lines going on. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I don't think it's gonna work for a shot right now. Oh, it's super cute over there. Let's see if we can get the guy going through. Uh, my framing is my framing is definitely off. Okay, 33, 33 left. Things go fast, by the way. 33 can go really fast or really long over weeks. But this is like a one and a half hour morning session that I'm planning to do. Okay, someone's coming through. I feel like this could be an interest, a good shot. Let's see if I get a little lower. I'm actually going to play with really shallow depth of field here and see if we can make it. Oh, tell me he's going to cross. Okay, we've got two crossers, but they're not on the path. Ugh. I got it, but it's, oh, it's totally not what I wanted. Okay, and I pre-focused on the, on the passage here on the crosswalk but they didn't cross, so this is a real issue. Let's see if I can get her to cross. Boom. 
right in the middle or the bike uh, no not the bike yeah that worked uh, definitely not the sharpest because I think the focus is just in front of her by the way this is really difficult but I kind of like that frame though so that's I guess a good point here uh, what are we at I took two shots so 32 left if I, if I know how to count oh this is cute this is cute I like that okay it's a little darker on purpose I just wanted the ambience and the cars and I don't know why everything looks so soft all the time but uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out let's uh, see we we have now six shots taken uh, I kind of want to take another one that would be less what do you call that less soft but uh, it's hard to tell here yeah it's actually hard to tell when I'm shooting from really far by the way those colors look really good in the sky and in the reflection over there right now so whoo exciting let's continue I think yeah there is a big bridge here in the river could be interesting I love Tokyo in the morning it's kind of quiet but there's a lot of old people who are cleaning up the streets their little area and I found it and I'm saying old people because I've never seen young people do it so I don't know if it's a generational thing or it's just an age thing meaning like is this new generation gonna do that when they grow older interesting question at least for me Ooh, this is a, like a 400 millimeter shot right here you, s you start here boom you go like all the way in boom and you get the people crossing over there ah, such a cool shot yeah I'm on 50 so it's not gonna happen right now but I'm memorizing it it's not far from my Airbnb so could come back with the 7200 and crop in okay 30 shot left look what's happening here we're gonna go f8 there we go oh I just jumped like crazy now so let's move to manual there we go and there's some like kind of glow coming in on the lens on the right I don't know if you can tell like over there on the frame like right here well let's just get a cool symmetry shot right here uh, let's see and that's the thing when you're simulating film you really want to make sure your your shot is like perfectly centered so three two one I think we're good three two one up here we go there we go Let's see if we can get a oh, I thought the guy was cleaning but he has a really cool part oh he is cleaning he's picking up all the um, he's recycling and then he's getting money from the what do you call that from all the cans for bringing them to recycling do you have that in your country where you're from uh, this is interesting too but I feel like having a subject over there would be kind of nice but I don't have one right now so yeah hmm let's keep going By the way, I took my 14 millimeter here with me in Japan. So I'm kind of curious to see what I, we could do with the 14 millimeter, honestly. Ah, this wasn't the, the front. So I'm gonna play my wildlife photographer here. There's this bird over there, which I think looks like a craw crow. It's really big and it's just trying to get to the trash. I was like, okay can we can we get the crow in the shot ooh, 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 ooh. another crow ooh. i got i got an interesting shot okay 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 it's happening it's, it's happening it's happening i'm getting this i'm getting this and with the really shallow depth of field and we're gonna try to have it centered on that little street okay okay wait for me wait for me crow wait for me 
Wait for me. Raise your head. Ooh, God. Did I get it? Ah, oh, no, it's not like the silhouette is not great. Ah. Oh, I wasn't in burst either. Damn it. Maybe they're gonna come back. Because this was this was a shot I absolutely love. Like if I can get it. Well, actually this one worked really well too. But as you can see, it's, it's not super sharp again. Um, but I, I really love it. Look, it's going straight for the lamp. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that lady, that lady in the middle, in the middle. Okay, okay, lady in the middle. Lady in the middle of the road. There we go. Shoot, 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 sorry. This is worth another shot just to get it right. Okay. It's kind of cool. Let's see if we can get a different angle. Oh, the train is over there passing. Mm, I don't think so. But wow. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, this lady in the middle. I took two shots, by the way, on this. So we had seven plus three we had ten shots now uh and then the crow one is missed one is okay i think i'll crop in the shot a little bit but it's definitely not super sharp i don't know why i was trying to shoot it around f1.1 but I, I feel sometimes when you have this lens it's almost like a waste not to you know it's like it's like wait you have this lens that's kind of how you want to do it because it's kind of cute uh yeah it's kind of cute but then you're missing i mean i'm missing a lot of shots so is that really worth it you know oh i took this one i don't know probably premature shot i wanted that little lady in the corner which we can see a little bit but i wanted the contrast with the bike passing this is exciting i actually love it. i honestly it frees you completely from trying to take too many shots but it makes you think 10 times more so in a way it's like it's freeing but not ah but it's like you're doing it for fun but there's importance if you miss it i don't know it's a it's a strange mix of emotion right there but try it let me know how it goes for you that's what i'm super, i'm curious about and you don't need a small memory card you can just use your memory card that can hold thousands of photos and just submit yourself, you know, it's, you don't need like handcuffs. Oh, let's go check there and then I want to get some train action over there. Okay, here we go. We've got a train passing back in the, by in the horizon. One, two, three, boom. And the moment I go, yeah, I shot at infinity and then F. Yeah, I shot it around F3, F4. I thought it was higher, but I wasn't. But look at this. I kind of like the fact that we have all those layers in the shot. You know, it's like street going down, all the layers, the train in the background. I love that. And I love these streets. I have to come back here at 7200. Like, they're really long, going a little bit up. You, you can isolate your subject super easily on these. So cool. Okay, so when you shoot at f1.2 and stuff, what happens also is that everything's like super dreamy and everything's already super dreamy here. I mean, with this lens, but that makes it even more dreamy. I don't know if you see what I mean, but. All right, let's wait to turn, but just notice the light hitting that building, reflecting on the other building, and even some window signs. And I thought, maybe we can get something here so let's try f8 kind of shot here and definitely more like an infinity focus a little bit of a composition maybe like this just to get a little bit of that glow there we go Hop. i think that kind of works i like that I like that frame oh this is a cool shot with a motorbike let's see if we can get it really cool over there ah uh, 
missed it. Okay, I got the motorbike guy, but I was hesitating on my frame. I was like, okay, nah, I mean, it's not bad, but I didn't leave enough room. I was like, do you want to take it like this? Or do I want to take it like more tilted forward? And maybe a better one would have been like going way closer to him. And just asking him for a shot because with his hat, he looked really good. But I mean, I could crop that even in landscape. Let me know what you think, guys. We're having the first rays of light hitting up. That should look kind of cool. Up. There we go. Just plain and simple. Maybe crop in a little bit after just for the, the foreground. But might keep it like that, honestly. Let's see. This is cool too. Ah, but there's a, I think it's a sky tree tower that's over there. Uh, I think you guys can see it in a few seconds and I'm trying to find an angle where I could kind of juxtapose it with something in the foreground but I haven't found yet so I'm still looking Ooh, this looks good the light is getting really nice now you know it's got direct golden light yummy 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 I'll eat that every day for breakfast no questions asked. Oh yes, look at this. Oh, and look at the flare in this lens. It's insane. Okay, this is interesting. This is really interesting. And guys, I gotta tell you a secret. I gotta tell you a secret. Back when I was chatting with Sony, actually did a little focus group on some things and something that came up that was really interesting they were asking us like what we would like to see what we could do better in, in some some circumstances some shots and i told them we needed like more we needed something that has a little more impact in, the, in with the lenses now they are like too dry they, they feel like too e too perfect you know and we want something that has a little character in it uh, something that's not perfect something that that messes up that has a flair that's maybe old school not super nice you know but we, we need that because that's what makes lenses special it's not that they are perfectly technical but that they actually add something special in it you know I mean this shot is okay that's my 14th shot but I'll say the movement in the sun position isn't the best. So if I could have an, a redo here, that would be really cool. Maybe with the biker going here. Oh, damn it, why did he cross? That's funny. Okay. Um, yeah, because I really love the flare right now. But I don't have a subject. That's kind of funny, isn't it? How long should you wait for a photo? I'm more of a, if it doesn't happen within two minutes, I move kind of person, but I have friends who love to wait way longer. I don't know. It isn't working. Just moved into the shadow, but it still worked. It's like so glowy. It's very, very, very dreamy look, by the way. So, could make for an interesting shot. Oh, this one's cool too. Mom and daughter walking, or mom and son. Okay, I'll just prepare it a little bit here. And we've got a taxi going into it. Let's see. Damn it, I almost went to the nice light. Oh, this guy, ah, I missed it. Missed it, I mean, this wasn't bad, but this wasn't what I was looking for, clearly. Oh, but this is really cool though. I like that shot. Okay, let's keep going. We'll find that sky tree shot. Oh, what do you think? I love trying to get the, the scene, like find my scene and then try to make the elements work. And, and like play with that it's always so fun sometimes it just doesn't work uh-huh 
Cafe Philippe. Oui, oui, oui. Beautiful light coming through. Let's try one more shot here. Get someone walking over there. And a little bit of a shadow. Here we go. But I gotta tell you, I found more and more that photography is actually a beautiful adventure that's very therapeutic in a way and I noticed that with a lot of people and comments I had either from the course of, of people who've been practicing a lot and give me the feedback that it really helped them in life and I have been deeply interested in psychology for a long time and I think one of the biggest thing here is that photography will force you to tune in pay attention to what's around find the beauty everywhere that you can find it potentially just, and even if you don't find it it's forcing you to look for it which is in my opinion already a really big thing you know like just starting to look for things makes you more aware of them and by being more aware of them by actually wanting to document light create with light you're seeing more light and when you see more light what happens you discover life it may not be as dark or as gloomy as as it may have seemed you know maybe your problems take a little bit of distance from yourself because wow there's so much that can happen right there's so much that can be done there's so many things that's changing all the time there's flowers blooming there's people going places there's the sun there's the moon i mean everything's changing at all times and everything's kind of like perfectly balanced in a way and that's the beautiful part in my opinion you know and it's hard when we're like caught up in our own stories to get out of it and see that but through photography you're able to see it because because you're paying attention and when you pay attention what happens well you don't pay attention to yourself anymore because you pay attention to what's around and you discover that you're just witnessing everything and it's awesome i, I absolutely love it and yeah that's why i love the 30 days to great photos because it like tunes you in for like 30 days on seeing things differently and i found that beautiful you know just such a little funny place here i didn't even know what to do huh that's kind of cute okay so we are at 20 photos this one i mean it wasn't the best uh probably too much this one i kind of like that flare wow i love that flare i think it's it's kind of cool but uh, I want to try to get a different angle. Maybe we'll go this way and then we'll tweak back to the left. Trying to get. Oh, 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 missed it. Missed it. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, this building is kind of interesting. It's a very sh stark contrast here. Uh, what would be more interesting would be to get a portrait. Uh, someone walking by maybe with a little bit of framing in here no oh this guy this guy where is he going where is he going where is he going let's try to get him back later let's try to get him back oh, i took two shots i literally did not make this work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, this is interesting. I like that. I like that. Wait. Well, like, give me more depth. Oh, no, don't go away, don't go away, don't go away. Sorry. One more time, one more time. Boom. Okay. I like these. I'm gonna have to, like, bring up the shadows a lot. But I love this guy, which seems very contrary to what's around, you know, like carrying packs of flour in this area. Wow, so cool. I mean, I used a lot of shots for that, so I'm kind of bummed, but this is kind of cute too. This is kind of cute. This tiny car, but it would be better with a, a little bit of a side ray of light or something. You know, just, just to get a little bit more. Um, dynamism in the in the in the frame yeah i don't think it's gonna work i mean i could use the car as my main subject here but i don't know not the best
Nah. Let's keep it for later. We already used a few shots. We had 24 shots, only 12 left. Ooh la la, ooh la la. All right, this is gonna be, you're gonna be like, what are you doing, Pierre? But I literally just want to document that little house that like super cute here. I'm gonna shoot it around F4. Uh, it's super cute and has a lot of flowers in front of it. And it's the kind of thing sometimes I just want to document because you know we always see the, the big shots etc sometimes smaller shots with with the small details of those houses i kind of like it it shows the contrast of tokyo which is not just giant big buildings there is also a small one with a lot of personality in there and uh, that's why i took a photo <laughs> should be a tiktok it's gonna work all right a little bit so what do I love? I love the light here. I love how it's interacting with the building. And I love the colors. The rusty color coming out. It's epic. Love it. Let's keep going. Woo! So fun! What a good way to wake up, honestly. And you just explore, you know? You pay attention to what is and what isn't. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is the kind of shot where you want to be exposing just for that highlight All right so i could actually do it like this where i'm like okay expose for here and then let's use it here let's boom got it by the way i take probably three times longer to take one photo with uh with this method than normally but it's, it's very refreshing. I love it. I love it. So how many shots do we have now? We have 27. We have nine left. Nine. Oof. That is not a lot. That is not a lot. I'm excited. Ooh. What are we going to do? Back in the busy area for the last nine shots. And I'm kind of curious to see how we can do this. So. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Where is my screen going? Funky, hello? Hello? Back screen, hello? Hello? I missed the shot. I couldn't see. Thank you. Wait, turn off. Turn on. And hello? Why is my back screen not working? Let's just pray, pray it works, okay? There you go. Yeah. It's kind of a funny shot. Definitely not a shot I would think. Oh. kind of bummed I had a good idea but I don't know why the screen wasn't working now it's working fully so it's just a bug for a second maybe it was too close to something Let's see if we can get any good angle from here That shot's not going to be the best. Not at 50. What if we go? Nah. Doesn't work. Oh, maybe like that. That way we have the tower in the background. We could have someone maybe walking over there. Crossing the crossway. And if we can have the train at the same time. That could be good. So let's try. Okay tower in position in position pretty good someone's crossing over there sure but we need a train all right let's wait for the train oh and let's see if we can do a little bit of a slower shutter speed on this we shoot it at like f8 or so the reason is i, I want to try to at the train a little bit blur blur 
and see. Oh, we might have to go to F14. F11. Okay. And that works. Okay, train coming. We had someone crossing. Please, someone cross. Please. Please, someone cross. Someone, please. Oh, man. She arrived just a second too late. Okay, I think there'll be another train. I'm hearing something. Train coming. Train coming. I'll take two shots. One way is coming. When it was further. Okay, now we need a human. Bring us a human, please. A little human in the frame. Please. Please. Just, just one. Just one person here in the corner. One, two, three. Boom. Oh, that's a green person. That's funny. Okay, it's cute. It's not like... Hey, it actually works. It's not literally the, the perfect shot I had in mind with someone crossing, but I think it still works. What do you think? Okay, what, what number are we at now? Ooh, we had 30 shots, so only six left. <coughs> someone wants to eat anything? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. This is exciting. Okay, I'm gonna try to wait until he comes out. Yes, I thought this could be cool. I like, with like the beard in the foreground and stuff. Let's see. Let's see if this can work. Oops. And should have speed definitely up. That's cool. Hi uh or not <laughs> all the guys are working so anyway <coughs> we got five photos left i will try to get a little bit of the the hecticness of uh, the crossings what do you guys think a little bit of ray of light over there let's go on the other side oh no 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 wait 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 this was really cool Hey, I didn't get any taxis yet, and the taxis are so cinematic here. So let's see if we can do anything with that in mind. That's almost when you want the tilt lenses, you know? Give you such a, an interesting frame usually. And the pressure is high. Only five shots left. I'm kind of curious what what I use these for. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful in a way. portrait was interesting because everything was so blurred out and but I, I don't think honestly it, it was worth it um, yeah I would not take it again for sure I like that. I really like this one. Can you see on the other side here? We actually have someone like crossing on the other side and he's standing out really well 
with that background, so it's really awesome. I love that. Let's see what we can do. Okay, how many shots left? Ooh, three photos left. What? Okay. Three left. I got some ideas. Uh, let's definitely use the sun, okay? Let's definitely use the sun for the last three. What if it was the sun with someone being lighting up someone in the car? Would that work? It's not good enough. No. No. Let's go a little further. Oh, this this could be a shot. But oh shit. Yeah, she looks so like, I don't know, she looks like she's completely sleeping, which is kind of interesting. Uh, excuse me, little truck. I don't know, this looks like a really Wes Anderson scene. Uh, I would love for her to drop her phone. Would be a lot cooler. Well, let's see. Three, two, one. No phone, please, no phone. No phone, please, no phone. Oh, fine, I'll take it with the phone. It's so... Yeah, that's a pretty strange... I don't know, I love that composition. It, it seemed very thin, very symmetrical. Oh, you see here, the ray of lights are hitting the cars inside, which can make for good shots. Good creations, but ooh, would have been nice with that mini. But, 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 what's my butt? What does my butt have to say here? I think that truck is distracting in the background, and then the likelihood I'm gonna have a a car perfectly aligned in focus is low, which is exactly why we should try, okay? So I'm gonna pre-focus, I'm gonna put it here, I'm gonna try to see how we'll do this. And, okay, I tried one. And, oh, that worked! But it's, it's not what I wanted, but it, I mean, I got the guy in the taxi, but no. It doesn't work better than that. It's like, the, the better shot would have been with him, you know, like if the taxi was like further left in the frame, but again, this 50 is like, I mean, all 50s are a little tight, uh, a little bit in the frame, more to the left of the frame, sorry, without revealing the whole car and a better, maybe out of focus on, or a better focus on his face. I mean, right now, I think the focus is mainly on the front corner of the car. Although everything's a little soft, so it's hard to tell. And we have only two photos left. Two. Wait, no. I'm at 132 plus three. I'm at 135? Oh no. Are you saying I only have one shot left? Ah! Last one. What are we gonna do? Last photo. And I realize now, after taking that tight portrait, that I've taken a lot of shots, like a little bit from further, maybe not using fully the, the bulkiness of that lens, but it's more like street photography vibes I was, I'm going for, honestly. So, I don't know, what are we gonna do? Should we use this scene? And this is cool, we've got light flare. No. I have a lot of those crossing shots. I think we need to keep it a little bit for something spe more special. Let's see. I'm sure we'll find. Let's go. That was basically basically the composition. This triangle, someone over there, and maybe it can still happen. Let's see. Three, two. Ah. Uh, 
Bad foot movement. No. Uh, okay, that didn't work, guys. Can I cheat? Can I cheat? Because we've got umbrella lady. Okay, I cheated. I took an extra one. Whew. Okay, I added an extra shot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I failed you all. Um, I'm joking. This is what I love is that you start with that 36 shots and then maybe you want to keep a little bit going. You can, but always keeping it very intentional and maybe thinking, okay, I'm going to change my roll, put a new 36 roll in there and, and, and go for another session. But wow, I need a shower. I need breakfast. But this is the best way for me to wake up and I feel so good. So I hope you feel good too and get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. And don't forget the Master 3 presets packs is out. All the shots you've seen were edited with it. Oh, this is a great photo over there. Look at this. Oh, ah, ah, okay. Oh my God, umbrella people. Sorry, I need to take a few more.